just froth and bubble, a term usually used to describe anything that's not very important. But scientists studying bubbles know that not only are they important, they are worth a lot of money. Dr Richard Manassa of Australia's science agency, CSIRO, spends his working life studying bubbles. Bubbles are actually big business. There's a huge range of systems in the environment and also in industry where a gas of some form gets pumped into a liquid of some form, ranging from sewage treatment plants to metal smelters. As each bubble is formed, the air inside gets squeezed and it makes a ringing sound, like a bell, and every pulse of sound from the bubble is used to trigger a strobe flash. It makes the bubble appear to be suspended in space. This way they can be studied at every stage of their life cycle. Okay, here we've got bubbles being formed slowly and they're pretty small. If you try and listen to the pitch of the note these bubbles are making, it's a fairly high pitch. We increase the airflow rate Bubbles come faster, but they're also bigger. And if you listen, you can hear that the pitch of the note these bubbles are making is lower. The most important aspect of the bubbles is making sure they're the right size for the job, whether that's in heavy industry or for a simple pleasure. And I guess it's also very important when you're making crunchy snack foods. The texture and quality of something you might eat um, depends on the bubbles inside that product.